says we are end of the world. Am I right? Yeah, my, my brothers, sisters. Last week we studied our brother Montel taught us Revelation chapter 5. It's a very interesting subject. I don't know how many of you really listen to the topic. What's going to happen? Lesson 6, I asked our brother to take over. But, you know, our, we are old. Brothers are old. I'm old and we can still, but sometimes our you know, tongue sleep, we miss the word. So I'm looking for young people to take over our sermons. You know, and when they practice, they study the Bible. So they gave us a new way of teaching. I don't know. Mine may be old, but profiting. So these kind of things I'm giving, and Brother Stanley also going to give also. That he says, he's a, he's a, he, who, is, who are you? And he's my Paul. I'm his, no, he's Joshua. No, he's Moses. <laughs> I'm, he's jo I'm Joshua. You hand over to me. I say, I say, yeah, but both are ginger. <laughs> so we are in that stage. I'm very happy. I'm very happy to take over. But for, for teaching, yes. When it comes to real, real things, I can go studies, go deeper studies. I can go more over studies. I can do that. I can give deep meanings of the study, deep meaning of theology. I can do that because I was teaching it. But when it comes to preaching and uh, and, you know, I have a little bit of my, I like to talk about my, my problem. I have vertigo. And I have my doctor, granddaughter. She's a doctor. She always says, Grandpa, you need to be, don't take too much. And uh, so too much walking and too much standing is no, is no good for me. And, you know, when you go vertigo, you can fall in time. Gone. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. And we don't know. So that's why. I'm really happy to hand over whenever you all need something, I can go. But when you come to preach, I can preach 10, 15 minutes, that's it. Or maybe I can go, if you, through your prayers, I can go two hours. No problem. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> but I can't do without your prayers. Prayers are so important. So, and two weeks ago, our brother, I don't know, how many listened to his topic? Brother Andrea? Andrea? Andres, I'm here for almost, almost for three months. I don't remember the name. So I'm still in that stage. So you know what I mean? So that kind of thing. I know it's Andrew. Brother used to call him Andrew. Brother, correct? Call him Andrew. So I know Andrew. When it comes to Andreas, yes, I'm quite an Andre, I know. And he got two, three young daughters. They're so helpful. And I don't know how to thank these ladies. And I'm so glad I'll pray for them. If they can come and do their works from here, I really appreciate because I always love young people come here. You know what I mean? I love that. So these kind of things we needed. We need to do things. And he preached a couple of weeks ago. What was your topic, brother? Standing by the, the, cross of, before, the cross of before the cross of Calvary. Yeah, I saw that she put that thing there. You know? And the topic, same topic too. Am I right, Stanley? <laughs> so we need Christ. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Nothing else. Where is Christ? My question to you all, where is Christ? We need Christ, right? Yeah. yeah, where is YJ? Up here. Yes, sir. Where is Christ? Right here beside you. Amen. <laughs> exactly. Just call him, he'll help you. But we do not have the courage to call him. Correct? I am higher than my Lord. There's no humbleness. Correct, brother? We need to be humble. When we come to him, we need to be humble to him. We need to be very, very humble. God is requesting something special. Let's go back to prophecy. 
special re- Bible truth verse, Bible truth verses, Adventist truth. This is second time I'm telling you, correct, brothers? If you know Matthew 26, 36 to 46, Jesus' darkest night. Most of, you, most of us know his darkest night. You know, he called his three good friends in the Garden of, Garden of, Garden of Gethsemane. He called his friends, his disciple. Pray for me. A Lord asking his disciple, pray for me, awake, watch me. Am I right? Did they? Did they pray for him? Did watch him? Did they wake, did they wake and say, oh, what Jesus is do, going through? Did they? No, correct? Huh? Yeah, snoring. How many times he came to visit his three disciples? Three times, all right? Three times they were snoring and sleeping. And the Christ, and we are talking about the Christ that we need him. And when Christ needs our disciples, and disciples sleeping. So we are his disciples, okay? Are we still sleeping? Let's see. Uh uh. <laughs> we are. Time of trouble. In the last call, the angel of mercy come into pleading with you. And many in the remnant church, what church are we? Come on, talk to me. We are a remnant church, am I right? Who was sleeping when Jesus died? Three disciples. And who are sleeping now? A remnant church. Us, exactly us. His chosen people. Okay? His take command. Because we're holding on to. Just now I said, I didn't say possession. I want him to say possession, but he didn't say that. But we are holding our comfort zone. Comfort, so comfort. I am comfort. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go here. I'm comfort here. I got air conditioned room and I can air conditioned car. I'm driving da 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 da. All the possession we have. The angel say, "Hey, get ready. Last day is coming." Same thing. When the last day came, all the disciples he saw who coming to catch hold of him. The Romans were there. They caught him. And who betrayed him? Who, who, who is it, Judas is? One of what? One of one. Another one of just now. You say what, lady? Uh, Karen? Huh? One of his chosen. Correct? One of his chosen betrayed the Lord of the world. It's a prophecy. You know, because things things going on around this world so much, like sister said. Even I can, I, I just few things. But if I read all these things, the Sabbath will over. <laughs> Adventist, this kind of thing, working on Saturday, working in the garment, working in public office, they're going for, asking for off on Saturday, they're not getting it. They're denying it. In America, it was liberal before. It was no more liberal. It's coming. Time is coming. Our brothers, our brothers always say the prophecy is fulfilling. The end is coming. Things changing very drastically. So we need to be very, very smart, choosing and hold on to who? Christ. Hold on to him. Cling to him. Not anybody else. And her, be careful. Then it says the betrayal and arrest of Jesus. 
the same thing again. Same thing again, the betrayal, because I put there so many things to emphasize we are his disciples. And we go, we come to church so humbly, put our Bible on our, under our, 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 our armpit and say, and so humbly pray during 9.30 to 12.30. <laughs> Am I right? After, after 12.30, what happened? Okay, all over. Done, huh? <laughs> but, that's right, that's right. That's right. Hungry, <laughs> starving, nap time, nap time lay, activity. lay activity. We do all these things. Correct? So we need to hold on to him. We are his disciples. Jesus said, I'm a chosen. Like our, our sister say, we are chosen people. We are. Seventh day Adventist. Very true. Supposed to be chosen. And what's the difference? If I go on extra, I didn't it'll take a long time. <laughs> okay, then all the disciples deserted him and what? Fled. Correct? Is it like? You know, it may hurt, my dear friend, when you read the Bible. I do not know when you go deep into the Bible. Sometimes it hurts. It hurts. And we have, we have, when you read the book of Psalms, you have more than 1,000 over promises that I will be with you. That's what the book of says. When you go to the book of Proverbs, Rely on me. Nothing else. Don't rely on anybody else. Rely on me. Completely incline with me. Because the day is coming. And when the day is coming, how many of us really stand for Christ's second coming? Okay, how many of us, this practice I did so many times, how many of us really says the next few hours I'm alive? Any guarantee? Correct? We have no guarantee what's going to happen if I fall down, I die, die, gone. Correct? So that's kind of life we are living. So, so according our brother says, what's that? Again. The whole church memorized the word movement by movement. That's very true. Until that uh, part. So be careful. Don't let go your life into worldly life. You know, my dear friends, when I came to this America, it was so beautiful. Am I right, brother? So beautiful. <laughs> When he was a young boy, when he came to Clarksburg, it's so beautiful, so nice. Now we are 2022. 20, Compare it. We are far away from God. Every second we are slowly fled, fled, fled. We are not sticking with God. Then they brought him to who? Brought him to Caiaphas, correct? Yeah, but with the talk to the whole thing will be like just Caiaphas. The priest, Jesus before the Caiaphas. Matthew 35 to 26 to 57 to 68. And what does they say? Goldest tax. He is, what is can you all read? He was despised and rejected of man. What do you mean despised? Yeah. 
Huh? I don't want you to get out. All of them are Jew. A Jew. And a Jew. And a Jew. All these 70 people are Jew. They rejected him completely. And Matthew 26, 63, 64, the highest priest said, Are you the Christ and the Son of living God? What did Jesus say? He said, Yes, comma, it is as you say. He did not say they are a son of God. Yes. But I didn't confirm, but you confirmed it. <laughs> Can we confirm Jesus Christ our Savior? Think about it. Matthew 26, 64. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye See the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Matthew 26 and 64, Jesus said, Told who? Caiaphas. Who is Caiaphas? Huh? High priest? Why the person of high priest? I want you all, you know, think. Don't just say whatever you read. Okay, let's say. You're not going to learn this. You're not going to learn Bible at all. Who is the high priest? What was his performance? What was his duty? He was supposed to be closest to God. Supposed to be closest. And he is the high priest. The only person goes to Moses' time goes to the most holy place once a year. That's the position of high priest. Think that you think, ask yourself question. Jesus said unto him, unto the Caiaphas, the high priest, thou shalt say, thus, thus thou hast said, nevertheless, I say unto you, hereafter, shall see you in the sun, see, ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of, in the clouds of heaven. How can, you, you, you answer my question, okay? How can a sinner like me, a sinner like Caiaphas, high priest, can see Jesus Christ when he come in the clouds. He's, a, he's, not a, he's not a righteous man. Think about it. Right? Caiaphas betrayed him, correct? Caiaphas despised him, correct? Rejected. How can unrighteous person can see Jesus when he comes second time. Every yes, Mary says, every eyes will see in second coming. Every righteous eyes will see him in second coming. That's what the first resurrection. Correct? Biblically? Then how these Kuipers can see? You all tell me, you all Seventh day Adventist, am I right? Yeah. How are you going to explain to if anybody asks you, hey, explain to me this verse, verse 64. How are you going to say? How are you going to explain? Oh, my pastor didn't teach me that. <laughs> That's the answer? Oh, YJ, he didn't taught us all these things. How are you going to say that? How are you going to answer? How can ye, that means you, will see me when I come second time, as sitting beside my power, and standing of the power. 
I'm holding the throne of God. <laughs> I'm coming with a scepter. And you will see me. Think about it. Go and study about it. Say again, sir. But he's a, he's a sinner. First resurrection no, is not going to help him. First resurrection only for the righteous. Am I right? If you are righteous, we will see him. But he's not righteous. That's, that's a good one. <coughs> yeah. yeah, adding up something, those who have tortured him, those who <coughs> crucified him, we'll see him. Why? How? Think about it. <coughs> this is chronological study. I know most is, I think I don't go there, it's too much for, <laughs> it's too much chronological studies. Wait, now for example, what happened here? 1798, what happened? Come on, prophecy. Yeah. Pope. pope, what happened to Pope? He was captive, correct? He was wounded, correct? Then 18, 18, 1844, what happened? Then you have three angels' message. Started from there. Three angels' message coming. Shaking time is coming. Sunday law is coming. All these things are happening. Are we prepare our heart and mind to see him? I don't think so. We don't. We don't study. How many of us know three angels' message? You know, anyway, this, this may sound nasty to all of you. Nasty. But I have to say it. I am a mechanic, well certified mechanic. Example, certified mechanic, correct? Approved by American government. Oh, no, we don't go there. I'm not. We have a, a great mechanic here. A refrigerator number one in Maryland. If you just tell him where the name of the screw, he can tell you the name of the screw. <laughs> and how, 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 how big the size of the crew, he can tell you even 12 o'clock at midnight. Wake him up, he can tell you. He, that expert we have. Okay? And I was going, I'm going to his house, from 1990 until today, I'm discussing with him, talking to him, looking at him, can I be that mechanic? Come on, open up your mouth and talk. Can I be that mechanic? What? What? I must learn, correct? I must ask him questions after questions until he fell up of me. Why, Jay? Enough is enough. Go home. Until he fell off of me. Every day I'm asking the question. So all of us coming to church, are you really Christians? Or just coming to, coming to church, sitting down there? Ah, yes. I just got put my name in the church. Nine o'clock and twelve o'clock, get up. I don't know the Bible. Is this called Christianity? It may hurt, I told you. I told you. I gave you a warning. It hurts. But when people come, when the time come, you have to answer. This kind, of, this kind of question will be come to you. How are you going to answer? Think about it. If you want to be, I'm not an expert, at least something you got to know about the word of God. Okay? So these kind of things, probation, we don't know, oh, I know. 
third world. I know three, I know three angels' message, chapter six. I know all these things. I know. But what do you know? We don't know. The time of trouble, this little time of trouble, then we come the time of Jacob's trouble. We don't know. And we don't know the seven last plagues. Yeah? We, very soon, I'm, the brother going to teach. Revelation, he, both of them, sitting side by side, they're going to learn about all the book of Revelation, all this book of Revelation. Is there any part in the scripture that hint anything about special resurrection in the Bible? Answer me. Yes or no? Where? Book of Revelation? Book of Revelation, sister? Huh? Matthew too? Matthew, Mark, special resurrection? Okay, give me one example. Special resurrection. I'm not testing you all, I'm just informing you all, okay? Give me one example of special resurrection. Last, last Sabbath, yeah. He's the resurrected, alive. Okay? Then, and according to you say, when Jesus was alive, correct? Like I'm going to put a little bit. When Jesus was alive, he was tortured, and he was nailed, he died, and they were buried him. When he resurrected, correct? Biblically, you study the book of Matthew, when he resurrected, and there are some tombs has been resurrected also, correct? The biblically. So that is the another another special resurrection. That's why he says resurrection is many in the Bible, but you have to go back and study, put the topic and study. Okay, now that, and does the does the Bible teach special resurrection? of the believer in the third angel's message. Say amen. Are oh, you reading it? In third angel's message, remember we study about third angel's message on my graph? Chronology? It's mentioned in third angel's message. Okay? Seventh-day Adventist church and the historical trash of hip. What are they throwing away? And what we are distributing to people is a prophecy. People doesn't want to hear the truth. People doesn't want to hear the truth. People doesn't want to know things going to happen in their life. They don't want to know. Even Adventist people doesn't want to know that truth. He says, no, it's too difficult for us to learn the book of Revelation. Book of Daniel. They don't want to. It's too hard. So we are, be careful. Think of all these things. What we are distributing, distributing to God. Okay, now early writings, page 285, there was one clear place settled glory. Hence came the voice of God like many waters shaking the heavens and the earth. There was a mighty Earthquake. Remember that, like a mighty earthquake. The graves were opened, and those who had died, faith under the third angel's message. 
So there is a message in third angels. No other denomination under the heaven preach about third angels message. Who preach the third angels message? Only Seventh-day Adventists, correct? Nobody. So what is the, what's the message? What's the message we learn from people? What's the message we're getting from them? Brother Stanley, what's the message we're getting? This. That's right. We contend that and happy. What I have sufficient to see Jesus coming. And, and ask question whether am I going to be with Jesus in heaven? Another three, four, five question marks around that. <laughs> so think about it. Think. That's why he says, that's why in even third angel's message is so important. But people are, we Adventist people are covering that up. Covering that up. And keeping the Sabbath. This morning we study about Sabbath, correct? He described our Sabbath. And you are talking about the Sabbath because Sabbath, the Ten Commandments, is our judgment. Very important. Ten Commandments are so important, very important for our life, salvational life. Okay? Then, and came forth from their dusty bed glorified to hear the covenant of peace that God was to make with those who had kept his law. If you have died under the third angel's message, be careful, okay? It's not mine, mine it's not mine. It's Evelyn G. White, the inspiration from God. Okay, that she said, if you have died under the third angel's message, keeping Sabbath, <laughs> keeping the Sabbath, then you would be sealed with the seal of God. Amen. Keeping the Sabbath, let me know what is keeping the Sabbath. I'm, I don't know. Can, you help, can somebody help me? Young ladies behind, can somebody help me? Keeping the Sabbath. <laughs> huh? So keeping the Sabbath, brothers, keeping the Sabbath. What did I say about that? Keeping the law. If you are under the third angel's message, message, keeping the Sabbath, then you would be sealed off 666, correct? No? No? Tell me, explain to me. Seal of God? If you keep the Sabbath holy, correct? Am I right? Keep the Sabbath holy? You will receive the seal of God. Third changes message, okay? And keeping the Sabbath, you will receive the seal of God on your forehead before being part of 144,000. One of 144,000. I don't know. Think about it. The time when the special righteousness comes forth to hear the covenant of peace occurred during the great earthquake of the seventh plague. Remember we studied about seventh plagues? Correct? Okay. Seventh plague, as shortly before Jesus comes back. 
great controversy. 637. Graves were are opened. Is this second is a, is a second resurrection? Uh, huh? Okay, graves are opened, many of them slap in the dust of the earth, awake, psalm to everlasting life, and psalm to the shame and everlasting content, contempt, Daniel 12, 2, and all who have died in the faith of the third angel's message, come forth from the tomb glorified to hear the God's covenant of peace, with those who have kept his law. And they also with pierced him. <laughs> Remember you said that? Those who have pierced him, Revelation 1, 7. A special resurrection. That's a resurrection. Why? Think about it, okay? Those who mocked and derided and Christ, Christ, Dying agony and the most violent opposers of his truth and his people are raised to behold him in his glory and see and honor the place upon the loyal and the obedient. Great controversy. This is not a first, it's not a first resurrection. It's a special resurrection. That's what we are going to study about special resurrection. This is for special resurrection. Those who, those who know the third angel's message and keep the Sabbath, they will see a special resurrection. Great controversy, 643. There are those who mocked Christ in the, in the humiliation with the thrilling power, the thrilling power to come and then mind and suffer words when adjured by the high priest, he solemnly declared, hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man. The same question. And now they, below, now they behold him in his glory and they are yet to see him sitting on the right hand of the power, the power of God. Great controversy, again continuation, going back and back, all, whatever you all said, Matthew, Mark, Luke, everything is there, okay? Daniel 12, I read it, Matthew, and that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince be standard for the children of thy people, and there shall be time of trouble. What time is that? Time of trouble. <coughs> and such has never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And that at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone to that shall be found written in the book of life. Oops, sorry. And many of those who slept, that's, that's, we already read that. And the prophecy of Zechariah looked to this special resurrection. Special resurrection. Zechariah, write it down, keep it, go home and read it. Maybe I'll ask you all a question next time. I will pour upon the house of David, upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and write in the spirit of grace, supplication, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. During what? Zechariah's time? What? You say Old Testament or New Testament? Zechariah, book of Zechariah. Old Testament, right? Even talk, God said to Zechariah, who will see? Pierce. Uh, Jesus not exist that time. <laughs> Still not born yet. And you got the prophecy. You know, he said, then they shall mourn for him. And one mourneth of, of, for his only son shall be bitterness for him, and the one that is in bitterness for his 
firstborn. The graves are opened, and the Daniel 2, and the Revelation 1 and C, and, and great controversy. Page 88 and 637, that's 88 means year 88, okay? The 88 means not 88, it's year 1988. Or oh, 1888, sorry. And page three, uh, 637, page paragraph 1. Go and study. And Revelation 1. Now we're going back to the real one. Revelation 1. Behold, he come with the clouds. Every eye shall see. That's why the Marys had a question. Every eye see him, and they also which pierced him. And all, ki all kindreds of earth shall wail because of him, even so a man. How can special resurrection, a special people, correct? A special, a first resurrection for special people, correct? Yes or no, Karen? First resurrection for righteous people. I'm asking again, special res resurrection, first resurrection for the righteous people. And these pierced people are not righteous. How, why God allowing them to resurrect? They, because they despised him and they rejected him, that I am the son of God, correct? For how long? For almost, how long he was in Jerusalem? From Bethany he came to Jerusalem, all three weeks he was there. They, they just trying to destroy him. But say, okay, I'm going to give you special direction so you know that I'm the son of God. Then that time is too late for you to resurrect. Two classes of resurrected. One will be shout with the rejoicing. <laughs> Amen, brother. I want to be there too. Okay, Isaiah 25, 9, it shall, be, it shall be in that day, lo, this is our Lord, we have waited for him, and he shall save us. This is the Lord, we have waited for him, and we, and we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. That's the first class. The second class, <laughs> okay? Cry to the rock and the mountains. You read that in the, in the Bible, correct? Correct? You already read, read all this. Revelation 6, chapter se verse 17 to 18. And the kings of the earth, the great men, lucky we are, we are not kings of the we are not kings of this earth. We are not that great people. And the rich men, we are not that rich. And the chief captains. And the mighty man, every bond man, and every free man hide themselves in the, in the what? In the dam and in the rock of the mountain. So, whether you want to be there one, or you want to be number two. Okay? Shall we stop here? <laughs> Go further, it will hurt you more. <laughs> what do you say, Andrea? Shall we stop here? Mo Montel? Bring it on. Huh? Okay, let's go very fast. Okay, so this is what we need to This is special resurrection. Then, and he said unto the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of... Face of who? Who is him? Jesus Christ, right? We're all waiting for him to come. They say, ah, no. Face of him, and that seated on the throne and from the breath of the lamp. And it says, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Special resurrection. 
the prophecy described the resurrection of many unrighteous. And it does not declare all to be raised at this time. The resurrection is set just before, just prior to Christ's return. Just before Christ's return. Okay, let's go back. Okay? Uh huh. Deliverance and the special resurrection. There's a special resurrection here. The time of Jacob's trouble. Then we have seven last plagues. And if anybody can go through here and have the three angels' message and the Sabbath, they will have a special resurrection. If no, they will be, you know what to do. Second one, okay? And, and then move the mountain, and uh, I come this is a special resurrection, and you'll be stand, able to stand. Now the special resurrection, and the prophecy described resurrection. Oh, this is, okay. You and I think, correct? Look at this, look at this slide. Think. Okay? The heavenly hereafter. We are all waiting for heavenly hereafter, correct? Am I right, brothers and sisters? Yes. Some think they are born for the kingdom. I think when actually they are born to this world. How come? How? See Mark 8.26. Can somebody read for me 826, Mark 826, please? 820, 836, sorry. 836. You can have the whole world in you. Please, pleasure and the treasure of this world. And this is self-seeking. We want out of the world, correct? Am I right? We don't want to stay in this world, but look at where it was tied back. Where is the rope? We're still sticking to self-seeking. <laughs> we're still sticking there. Right? Yeah, we are, we are mowing. But we are not moving. Young lady? Huh? Going back the last? Going back, put the last last slide, man. Yeah. We are there. If you want to be there, heaven is not there. We, are, we can't go into heaven. There are too much like what we learn in the Sabbath school, we are too comfortable where we do. Whatever we do, we are too comfortable. Whatever we say is too comfortable. Whatever we gossip is too comfortable. Whatever we talk behind is too comfortable. It's too comfortable. I can, I, I can talk about you. I don't know. Too comfortable. And listening to somebody out of the book, comfortable too. <laughs> If you have this kind of arena in our 
in our life, can we go up there? Is it possible? Montel, is it possible to go up here when we still stick, seeking ourselves, self-seeking? You tell me. You know, I told you, this is hurting. If you want to be in special resurrection, you will be raised in special resurrection. Unless you keep the Sabbath and the three angels' message and all the law. And now, people claim the law is nailed to the cross. And we think, my life is my life. I surrender my life to God. And as mentioned before, <laughs> heaven is easy, correct? But it's not cheap. Absolutely. Correct. Comfortable with him. Comfortable with him, not uncomfortable without him or with him. He says, I will be. I'll abide in you. That's what he says. Abide in you. He's abiding in us. Are we abiding in him? This all book of Revelation, brother. <laughs> you know? We know to be afraid. That's just what every day. We know to be afraid. How close we are to God? That's my question. How close we are? Church need to what, sir? Arouse. Arise. Oh, arouse, rising up. Yeah, we need to wake up. The church, as I tell, I know I told you all, this is not the church, not my preaching can save you. That's impossible. <laughs> That's impossible. That's my preaching not going to save you. The what you see in the book will save you. These need to wake you up. This. If you read it, you don't understand why you read it. Read it and understand it. Make sure that we are in the Word. You know, every Wednesday that you all do the Bible study, I don't know, but I'm not in, I was in the group, but I, I'm no good at the phone calls. I don't say much about phones, but whatever you all do, do something to learn the word. Great controversy, you distribute to people. If I ask you, anyway, I don't want to <laughs> say something. We distribute to people. What about you? Did you read this great controversy? I'll go direct. <laughs> oh, yes. I want to save others. I don't want to save myself. Am I right? How many of us read book of Great Controversy? Good. Great Controversy is prophecy. So what's going to happen from the time Jesus was born all the way to the end? Prophecy. There's so many things we learn. And also read the book of Daniel, book of Daniel Revelation. Compare with the book of, Re book of Great Controversy. It helps you. Helps you grow in our, in our daily life. In millimeter by millimeter. You know? Now, for example, all of us are Christian, correct? Am I right? No, just say we are Christian, am I right? Okay? We are Christian, we are born again. Maybe? Are we born again? I don't know. Are we born again? Yeah. 
how to live like a born, born again person. Give me one person, one example. How to live our life according to the born again person? Okay? And? Follow God's word. Follow God's word. Good. Isaiah chapter 58. Huh? Yeah, we got to serve others, yes. Okay, I'm going to give you another small example, okay? You take two cat, male cat, female cat, correct? Male cat, female cat. When they both mate, what they produce? Huh? Talk to me fast. They produce? Disabled? No, no, I don't go there yet. That's, 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 that's beyond your thinking. Okay, when you take two cats, one cat here, one male cat, one female cat, go there, mate them, go, you'll get another cat, correct? You take one, mon one female monkey and one male monkey, you mate them, they make female monkey. They make a monkey, correct? Correct? Am I right, sister? You take one righteous man and the righteous woman, you made them to, we make them produce, will they produce a righteous person? I can't hear you. <laughs> Think about it. Think. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Think. If you don't think, you don't get it. So you need to think. How to produce another righteous person? I'm righteous, my wife is righteous, my two children are, I don't know. Train them, teach them. You know? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I can I know. I'm just saying, I'm just alerting. Things coming, like we all know the crisis come very, very soon. If we leave the life that we are living today, I don't know what is your personal life. I'm not going to involve. I'm not go I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm not interested to know. I'm just advising what Bible saying. That's all. If you want to see Jesus Christ on the first resurrection, prepare for that. That's all I'm asking. First resurrection. We want to see him. When he comes, when the angel comes and look for altar grace, yes, yeah, she's there. Pick altar grace, go. Go. That's all I'm asking. Prepare for it. Yes. But how to prepare? I don't know. I don't know. And my sister says, live as Jesus lived. Yes. Is it possible? Is it possible, sister? Is it possible to live as Jesus lived? How? Huh? Possible. Possible. Sir?
you have departed, correct? Yeah. Okay. But I have another question. Okay. Simple. I want you all to teach me. I can learn from you all. Okay. Now, how long, how long, Jesus know that Judas is great? How long he knows him? But he, how long he been mingled and linger with Jesus Christ? Three years. Huh? Three years, most probably. Correct? Correct? Judas, Judas yeah. No, three years. About three and a half years? Yeah, yeah. Around that? Am I right, sister? Yeah. Around that, correct? Did you ever say Jesus ever talked to his disciple for the last three and a half years, Judas going to Betray me? Huh? Did I ever say that? Did I ever? I'm talking to be live like Jesus, correct? This is a simple example I'm giving you. He did, according to your husband, he lived with Jesus, Judas, lived with Jesus Christ for three and a half years until the end on Thursday evening. <laughs> he didn't even say the name. Who, who, who soaked his bread into that, what? In the cup? And he, did he say, he going to betray? No, go and do your work, go and do your work first, correct? But what about us? If I don't like you, Andrea, you, uh, Andrew, I will go around the church. Hey, look at this guy. I gossip. Am I right? How we live like Jesus Christ? Gossiping? Tiny little things we need to be changed in our life. Listening is no good. The time you listen, pray time you gossip, you pray. Before you open your mouth, you pray whether it is okay for me to open my mouth. It's okay for me to advise people. It's okay. That's what the Bible says. We want to live with Jesus. We like to be like Jesus. We want to grow like Jesus. But we cannot live by Jesus by doing earthly things. Am I right, sister? You do earthly things, you are, you, we are. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm righteous. We are all going to be despised. We are all going to be rejected. Think about it. Pray about it. Think your salvation is easy. Very, very easy. Many people say, you do, do, as long as you shut your mouth and keep quiet, you're okay to go. <laughs> That's what's important. Look, don't look. See, don't see. Talk, don't talk. That's good. That's a simple thing. And follow the word of God regularly. Study. My advice to people around the world, I say, we have 30 books in one, 30 chapters in one book. What book is that? Huh? In the Bible. <coughs> that, that, it's no philosophy. There's that's that's righteousness in that book. 30 chapters in the Bible. The book is, that's 50, book of Proverbs. Book of Proverbs has 30 chapters. Now, December, today, today what, what's the date today? 6, 7? What's the date today? Today is the 5th. 5th? Okay, 5th. So today you go home, read all the 5 chapters, select 5 verses from 1 chapter. Okay, five, first chapter, read the whole chapter, select 1 verse. Your favorite verse. 
Work in your mind. But that what chapter is on what book is Proverbs. Proverbs. Ah. One chapter, one chapter a day. Memorize one up to you. You can memorize ten verses up to you. One verse of that chapter, let it think. Think what the chapter is going to tell me today. Instead of, hey, uh, 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 because I'm concerned about the church. I'm concerned about Karen. I'm concerned about, <laughs> you're concerned, not concerned. Say hi, goodbye, read your Bible. I know it's, it's not easy, but you want to see heaven? You want to be with Jesus Christ? Yes. Grow in him. Walk like him, talk like him, and be like him. We all will have. Book of Proverbs, only 30 chapters. Read one chapter, then continue. How many chapters? 30 chapters. 30 chapters. 30 chapters. 31? 31? 31? I don't know. 31 chapters? Okay, the 31 chapter is good one. So, some month ago, 31, correct? <laughs> correct? Some month ago, 31, correct? So you have extra one chapter. So read it, read it, and, and make, memorize it. And make sure that you know what you're reading it. Memorize it, talk about it, think about it, discuss with people about it. Okay? Anyway, let's have a word of prayer. And... Uh, most loving Father, we thank you this day. Prepare our heart and mind. We are worthless creatures. We are unrighteous people in our daily life. Shut our mouth. Open our heart. Open our mind. And open our ears to listen to the holy word of Jesus Christ as well as the Holy Spirit what are trying to tell us. Father God, help us. Help us grow in you in every way possible. And forgive our sins and shortcomings. Let us come forward to meet you in the midst of the cloud. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, let's turn with